But we haven't done it with the intro in a while, yeah. I know we haven't. Shit, gangster. But now we can do that. Yes, sir. You know the fucking vibes on YCFC Pepper Podcast with your boy Dave DBA Gay Doobie Rex. And we back. Just the two of us. We can make it if we try. Sanchez, what up? City is back up and so must we outside. Aye. Back, 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 back. We beat Philly in Philly. We beat in Toronto. City is back up and so must we outside. We're gonna beat the Rebels on Saturday. We 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 are in Studio H. Studio H, yes. Yes. Studio H. We will not reveal the location of this 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 is a secret location. Yeah. That is it's being spoken about being a permanent location. I don't know. Man. I, I kind of like this place. I kind of like it, too. We could dress it, it up a little bit. You, Hopefully you, nobody says nothing. You it know? came with the dinner. <laughs> Yo, nah, that's not going to be every time, bro. Wine them, dine them. Wine them, dine them. Third floor, nine them. <laughs> po- podcast, nine them. Uh, I take you have a good night. You had a good night so far? Oh, yeah. I'm full, man. Yeah, that's yeah, a, me it's, too. A, it's, a, it's a great night. When Wait you, a lot, bro. When you could go to sleep on a full stomach. on the, on the, on the <laughs> Right? Like well, that's. That, that's Son. that's a. City is back up. Come on, we you back up, me? baby. You literally, you. I walked through the door, through the door, and you were just literally just staring at me like, "Bro, I'm hungry." Like, Yo, I was mad. Like how hungry, Igor man. looks at me when yeah, I come in late, and he's like, "Bro," because I just fixed wifey a whole fucking steak and potatoes and fuck. She <laughs> she had like a plate like the Rock would eat and shit. Put him in Body the fucking <laughs> 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 When I when I when I served Lucas his plate, he was like, "Finally, I'm like damn, bro, <laughs> <laughs> the fuck, damn, <laughs> damn, bro, like finally." So yeah, but uh, you know, we outside. So. Hey yo, what the <laughs> fuck? Yeah, are well, you having a good time with the drops? <laughs> oh yeah. Somebody yeah. hit me up and was like, uh, "Yeah, I love that the drops are back." I think it was on the um on the uh, YouTube, YouTube yeah. comments. They yes. Like, yo, shouts to the drops. They're yeah, back. The boards, next level stuff. Thank yo, you. Yo, leave a comment below. If you have a drop idea, maybe we'll use it uh, next week. Yeah, we have two blank spaces right here. And a whole other page. And we can make more pages. We can make more pages. Yeah, yeah. so. Well, we got drops for days, bro. So if you got a drop idea, something mm. funny, something serious, you know, like. Mm. We'll drop some news. Oh, shit, I left my watch. Got the crazy tan. Damn. Yeah. That's what happens when you're brown. That's that 13% Espanolo. <laughs> yeah, right here, right? That's. That's the colonizers right there. <laughs> That's the reminder. <laughs> Damn. You ain't 100. That sucks, but... Uh, Damn. Fuck me, bro. <laughs> fuck him, man. God, now I'm sweating. Yo. <laughs> Is it true? It is true, bro. That's fucked up. Damn. But, uh, yo, what a night, man. YCFC played Toronto or against uh, Philadelphia, Philadelphia Union, Union of Chester. Yes. And... Um, it looks like it was raining. It was, like it heavy. was raining all day. Yeah. Yo, before this, before we get into it, we got to talk about the raccoon. Yo. That shit was wild. <laughs> so I've been to two stadiums where I've seen raccoons. One was DC United. The uh, RFK. RFK Stadium. Yes. And then two was actually City Field. Yeah, last year. Yeah, last year. Yeah. I saw that fucking raccoon in the stands. I <laughs> said to the security guard, I was like, yo, it's a raccoon. He's like, yeah, he's here all the time. Get out. Get yeah, out. keep going. I was <laughs> with you. We was walking out the stadium. And we were like, yo, there's raccoons right there. He's like, yeah, they pay rent. Keep yeah. going. <laughs> they tend it. And so now, um, yeah, raccoon and what's the name of the park? Subaru? Is it Subaru? I think it is Subaru Park now. Yo, that, that raccoon, like uh, uh, Blue Balls Pod said on Twitter, yeah. was looking a little busted. Looked a little uh, roughed up in the neighborhood. Yeah. Fuck, how'd he get in? But he looked like he came out the sewer, like soaking wet, looking like uh, maybe Master he Splinter. dropped in the in the maybe he was in the river, mm. like he fell in or something. Oh, damn, took yeah. a little shower. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, you saw how they caught him with the yeah with the trash can. With the fucking that was nuts. My one of them, one of the first thoughts I had was um, what would Messi say of that if he was on the field right now? Because remember last was it last week or last was game. that this last game? He he like was talking to the camera. He was like yeah, he I broke the better. fourth wall. Yes, he did. He looked at the hard can. Yes, he really did. <laughs> he said, He's finally, like, the Messi the has come. Messi. Jesus, and has come to MLS. He goes, yo, puppy, what are we doing here? So what do you think he would have said if he saw Raccoon on the pitch? I think that's what that would have been the moment where he starts to question his decision. 
Son, that was one of my first thoughts was what would Messi say about this wow. right now? Because, you know, this is Messi's league. Yeah. I don't know if you... Messi if, league soccer. Messi league soccer. Yeah, there was a... Uh, they showed three commercials back to back to back mm-hmm. during our broadcast. Like mm-hmm. right before the broadcast started. Yeah. Messi commercials, I should say. Yeah. So. Wasn't there like a pop-in ad for the... Inter Miami Orlando yes. match at the beginning yes. of our match. Yes, it was. Like they were like, by the way, if this match is boring, how about you go watch M- or Miami versus Orlando, Miami, Orlando with no Messi? With no Messi, no oh. Messi at that. What was the final score of that? Oh, I think he uh, <coughs> uh, tied. We're supposed to be doing versus the world here. We fellas. were supposed to be doing versus the world, but yeah. no versus the world, obviously. Zero zero Orlando Miami because there's a lot of things to talk about. We got this midweek yeah. match that threw a curveball in in, in in what we do. Um, we had we, do, baby. we also had the news with the new renderings coming out <coughs> this porch. We're gonna get into that. Yeah. And we also have to preview the Rebel match that's this weekend. Yes. The Hudson River Derby, which we didn't cover last week. Uh, the For last episode. Reason, I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was my fault. I think it was your fault. Yeah. I think you said nah. Let the people know. I, I, no, I did hear. Don't work. I heard we'll were cover you, it next. Were week. you talking to yourself again and you said it out loud? Probably. <laughs> Yo, what? How crazy was that, bro? <laughs> Should I tell them, bro? You told them last week about the watch. No, about learning Italian or, or understanding Italian and shit. Or what was it? Oh, French? Yes, yes, with, yes. With you, you, you dream. You're, oh my god! No, I wasn't a dream. Bro. I, I but was like you were daydreaming. You were daywalker. I was delusional. Yeah, because it was so late. I was watching. Uh, you were delirious. Uh, you were like Eminem. Yeah, on the ambience, on, on the ambience, bro. I was um, watching a Giroud uh, interview. He was speaking French or, or Italian. I don't know which one it was, bro. But I'm like, I'm, I'm just watching it, and I understand every single word of this shit. And then for whatever reason, I was like, how the fuck do I understand it? So I played it back again, and I noticed on the bottom it was fucking subtitles. And you was reading subtitles. Yeah, I, I had no idea. I was you reading were reading the it in his voice. Yes. <laughs> I was wilding out, so I was mad tired. But, you know, well, that's when you know the edible kicks in. Yeah, man. That's probably what it was. I was just like, I don't understand this shit. Damn, I learned Italian. I learned Italian. That's fire, dog. <laughs> Since what? <laughs> what you said? I was in a multiverse? The Italian yeah. multiverse? Yeah, you was in a multiverse. Oh. Yo, where's Yusuf, by the way? Yusuf is at... Um... Where is where is Yusuf? Where is Yusuf? Where is Yusuf? Um, Yusuf went to a, a rock and roll concert in rock and roll con- like a metal concert. Yeah, uh, Slaughter to Prevail. Jesus Christ, what a name! Yeah, it's um. I really haven't listened to any uh, rock and roll uh, type of metal music this year. For it's been reason. A, it's a down year. I don't know. It's a down year. Everybody's reliving 1999, 25 years ago. I have listened to that album. I think that's the only real album I've listened to front to back. Which album? Limp Bizkit. Not it. Not it. Yeah, the, not, it. The, uh, not the Butthole Surfers one. Whatever the fuck that was. Uh, the one before it. Significant Other. Significant Other, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Doom, doom, what was doom, the other one? You were the worst. That's my show. You got to put it. You got to do monster voice. <laughs> oh, fuck. I think it's... I think it's page two, son. Oh, you're on page four? It's me, Fred Durst. Oh shit, I'm gone. Fred Durst. All right, so he's at the slaughter. I'm like, I'm liking this more. Son. You see over here, DJ, yeah, right? Man. You got your voice sounding better and shit. You know. I still sound tinny. I hope I, I hope I don't sound tinny anymore. We'll find out. You know. So I am parched, ladies and gentlemen. Damn. Listen. What are we talking about first? The match. Let's talk about. Th- um. Are we talking no, about- we'll get to the match. We're um, doing the renderings. NYCFC beat Philly two to one. That's the match. We'll get to that in a <laughs> bit. But before we talk about that, there was some stuff that happened. Uh, today we got some new renderings. That was yesterday. A week from yesterday, we got some new renderings from the team. Um, they showed a new area of the stadium, uh, the supporter section, uh, which is big as hell. By the way, it seats. It's supposed to seat. What is it? Three thousand four hundred. Thirty four hundred. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Thirty four hundred supporters. Which, Safe standing positions. Mm. That is. 
So is that gonna have like the bar? Yeah. No, no chairs at all, nothing. It um, it might have the chairs that are that get locked in place vertically okay. under the bar. Yeah, because like if you have another match, you know, some kind of qualifier. Yeah, or I've seen I've know. seen those in other stadiums yeah. where they have like those seats must be really uncomfortable. First off, yeah, as like a seating option. Why so? Because they're probably like generic fold down, like flat. Yeah, back. but this is, you know I feel like this stadium is gonna be nice. Everywhere is gonna be nice, you know. <laughs> um. So yeah, thirty four hundred. Thirty. That's more than LAFC, bro. Yeah, thirty two fifty two. Whatever yeah. the fuck they got, you know. That's a that's a big. This number. is concerning to me. Really? Yes. <clears throat> I think. I think. Uh, me too. <laughs> did you have something you wanted to bring up before we go into this? Because I had I had something to say. No, about we'll support. go through everything. Okay. Um. I think. I think the collective supporting uh, supporter groups need to to start gathering, get together, and figure out a way to expand so that everybody's on the same page um, when we get to the new stadium. Because 3,400 is a lot. Hell yeah. If we put 1,000 people in there and that's it, it's going to look empty. Yeah. And that's embarrassing, not only to us, but to the league. Mm -hmm. Because... Listen, this is the number one market in terms of um, television and media and shit like that. But for whatever reason, you know, our our, our supporter section is not as unified as as other places. It, it's not that. You know? It's not. It's not. I don't think unified is the right word. I think the supporter sections, everybody's not there for business. That you would be saying? unified. Like everybody, like. Uh, um, a lot of people were there, like especially in the out, like in the Yankee Stadium. There's Yankee Stadiums. Like, yeah. Uh, the people who would sing are in two sections, two thirty six, two thirty seven. Yeah. And then once you get on the outer sides of like two thirty seven towards two thirty eight, it, it's it's not that. Yeah, they're just there to watch the you game. You know, so so thirty four hundred <clears throat> seats. I think Yankee Stadium is about two thousand nineteen hundred something like that. Yeah. For their support section and City Field with all six sections across here is about the same number. Mm. That's d almost double. almost double, bro. That's both stadiums yeah. in one. I do like the whole um, from the bottom to the top. Yeah, no, I like that from too. the windows to the wall because that looks fire. If if that section gets filled, that's gonna look crazy. Yeah, you know? that would, and especially with what you were saying, they might be an area to do smoke. Like in the you know, like the and, drum platforms, they yeah. might have like a smoke. Like you could put the smoke cans there, maybe at the bottom of the section. There's the three full areas the, supposed to be big. There's three capo stands, which yeah. is which that's is fire too. We've been asking fire. for that. Uh, the 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 tifos, the canopy, the ceilings are gonna have the pulley systems, mm. so we could do. And I think those are gonna be really, really massive in size. Huge tifos, yeah. bro. That's yeah. gonna be sick. Yeah, that's like that's we, one. Listen, we have we have the opportunity to become. I, I think. Global. I Almost. think in that sense, um, in the TIFO and the banners and the flag, maybe not so much flags, but banners, TIFOs, as a fan base, yeah, we we just we just been craving for the opportunity to do, be able to do more because we've been always <clears throat> limited. Yeah, when I say we, I say we as a fan base have been limited on what kind of how extensive the TIFOs can be, how extensive the how big the banners can be, right? Stuff like that. I think now that. The, oper the the thing is like through the roof. Like possibilities are endless. Yeah, and that's why I think I think all the supporters, uh, all of the supporter groups should, you know, start combining, start figuring out. You know, put bygones away, and you know, just let's we gotta rock out. That new stadium's gotta be filled. It's gotta look fire. I think we got expansion. That's what I'm saying. Like, expand, not just, not maybe not start only just new unity. Groups, you know, like like, like, like more <clears throat> fans and like, uh, uh, yeah, more fans gotta come. And the 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 main thing is more fans gotta come. And they got to know that, like, you in this seat, it's not just because of the cheapest ticket in the stadium. It's yeah. because it's time to get busy. It's time to get busy. You know what I mean? Like, 100% participation. That's what I like, like to say. It'd be fire if we had 3,000 every game. Fire. Like. Of the 3,400, of 3,000 could be, like, hardcore? Yeah. Fuck, bro. Crazy. Be this possible. Yeah, yeah. I think, you know, at that time, 2027, like, the, the ages, I'm going to be in my 40s, bro. Yeah, man. Be some old cats, but I bro. want I I would like to do something that I've always wanted to do, but since we couldn't do it in Yankee Stadium or City Field, and I did do it twice, I would like to bring a massive the big flag on the poles 
and wave that. Yeah, yeah, bro. I, that's <laughs> all. I've always just wanted it to. So do we that. have an opportunity I've, to be. Well, I don't want to compare ourselves to them. I, but I'll like, do the whole fucking game, bro. On the that's court. that's that's a lot of work, bro. I did it for forty five minutes, both times. I did it for forty five minutes. Yeah. Once at, at Hartford against Houston back in twenty seventeen, I think it was. Yeah, I did it for the first forty five minutes, and then I did it at Belson for an Open Cup match. I think mm. uh, in twenty eighteen, maybe for forty five minutes. I would. So the flag gets in the way of the view. Yeah. Okay. Go sit up <laughs> somewhere else. <laughs> You know, you could get slapped with that shit. Obstructed views, seats. yeah. Obstructed views. You man. know what I mean? First of all, you don't even got a seat. Yeah, you standing. You standing. You standing. This so shimmy over to the left, or to the right. Yeah, but there's some big clubs out there with with supporter section like this, and I feel yeah. like this is if the, we do it right, we yeah. could get to that level. I think the I way, don't see why not. The way the graphics show it, it's it shows it not like how LAFC's thirty two fifty two is. Yeah, which is like. Like a like a wall, kind of like how Orlando is. They're very similar in, mm-hmm. in their shape, but the way um, the Orlando wall goes up and not as wide. Yeah, I feel like with the two levels, it's gonna it it could has the potential to look like that's very, what I'm saying. It's gonna look crazy, very, bro. Like uh, impresionante, like yeah. very like. I hope so. Because think about it. Kind of like the yellow wall in, in, in Bushy Dog. I didn't want to bring them up. I don't want to say that. That was my thought process. Yeah. But they have 30,000 people back there. Also. You know? Also. They have the biggest supporter section, right? Yeah. Well, wouldn't we have the biggest supporter section now? Sanchez, that's why I didn't want to say it. But when I was struggling to get through that sentence, like, hey, we have potential to be somebody big. Yeah. I was thinking of them. We could. We, we you could, know what I'm saying? But we have to... We have to come together. Come together as a fucking supporter section. Mm-hmm. Like people need to sing. I don't know what it is. Like I, son, we've been doing this shit for ten years plus. Mm-hmm. I sing every match, even even when I was fucking with you down in one thirty six. I'm still singing songs, but it's like you turn around and you see people just there, not doing anything, just watching the fucking game. Like, come on, dog. It's got- hard because it's like. Come on, man. Like, you killing the vibes. You killing the atmosphere of the stadium because you want to stand there and not sing in the supporter section. Like, the uh, Orlando Stadium, because it's like a concrete backing. Yeah. And I really hope it's not ours. It's not like that, which is concrete and, and white aluminum rails so you can see everything clearly. Yeah. Um, when they're <laughs> not full, yeah, you see the massive amounts yes, of concrete. Yes, you do. Yep. You see that. Yeah. I hope ours has some type of color and the, maybe the seats are colored. Some so kind, it can of kind of deception. Yeah, yeah. You know, like, oh, okay, because yeah, it should look full. Orlando has a big, uh, it's not big, but the way it's built, it makes it look like yeah. a lot. And when they're not full, it's, it doesn't look nah, that it great. Looks bad. Yeah. It look, that looks kind of bad. Yeah. So I don't know, man. What you think? What do you, I'm, yo, listen, the, we have a few years. The 9,000 right. square foot uh, outdoor supporters per- porch where they're looking for like a name also. Um, I uh, I kind of like that. It says there's views to the field. There's screens. Yeah, that could and I think it said that you could that might be able to be used off for like events on non game days. That'd be fire. Yeah, maybe That'd like watch nice. parties in the summer. A little birthday party, you know, if you got birthday, bread. I, you know, you know what I mean. How you doing? You know how you doing? Just fill it up with hot got dogs it. and popcorn. <laughs> Listen, I'm, I'm, but yeah, chicken fingers and yeah, shit. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. Why not? For, for sure. I think that's pretty cool. Yeah. I think that that has the opportunity to be like the outdoor beer garden uh, mm, vibe yeah, yeah, that yeah, yeah, yeah. that uh, the bodega kind, kind brings in a way has yeah. an aspect of that. Um, I think that could be really cool. I hope we get good uh, food vendors. Yeah, because City Field got phenomenal. In, in the uh, renderings in that plaza thing, it was called uh, there was a taco stand. Mm. Yeah. I, Yo, let me ask you something. Do you up? think the uh, the perch, the porch, the porch area? Do you think that goes with the thirty four hundred, or do you think that's like a separate number? Like, do you think we could fit like five thousand in there in that area just standing? Oh, like standing room only. You seats. know what I'm saying? Or like, did they for like the playoffs when we're yeah, sold out? Yeah, you know, I think they could. I think they would sell standing room only seats there, mm. and just be straight up madness. But yeah, that'd be fire. Hell yeah. yeah, yeah. Because I feel like Philly did that, didn't they? They the, sold standing the night room we, uh, the, co- the COVID match that they well, got? Oh, last the other playoffs too, they do yeah. the same thing, yeah. Okay. So yeah, yeah, why not? 
Yeah. That will that will increase the numbers as well. Uh, uh, in the it, it could be all, more than 25,000 people then. Yeah. You know, with the standing room only. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. So, I don't know, man. I'm excited for the stadium. They're yeah, looking for a name. I, I submitted on the on the Twitter world the um, La Placita. La Placita. La Placita as my name for the outdoor beer garden. You know, mm. like a lot of people already use that name for twins at, at the post game. Yeah. By Yankee Stadium. So it's a good way to carry that over. Yeah. And it's a plaza. It's, a plaza. It, it, it's, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. it's actually what that is. Yeah. Queens Plaza. Queen, uh, Corona Plaza. You know, they have this uh, mural for fan created designs. Do you think, uh, you see how you see, it's right by the um, entrance of the stadium? Yeah. Do you think that's actually going to be painted by fans or is it going to be like something, something art guy? I think, I think it'll be something, something art guy with ideas and influences yeah, from fans. Yeah, with ideas and influence from the fans. Yeah. So like, I don't like that. Um, kind of, I, I'm thinking more of the lines of like, you remember the Messi mural? In um, Wyndham? Yeah. Yeah. I think it'll be something like that where it's like they hire someone yeah. with, you know, with the supporters influence on it. And stuff. Okay. Mm, that's okay. I don't know. What'd you think? I'm you, not big, you would rather have like. Yeah. I'd rather have it be supporter. <clears throat> supporter. Because uh, doesn't, there's a few stadiums that have mu- uh, murals. Inside the stadium, I Philly. think. Philly, yeah, Philly's one. Yeah, did Nashville have one too? Uh, I'm not sure. I think Rebel. Has Rebel one. has one. Yeah, Rebel has yeah, one. Yeah, I think Orlando has one too, or maybe no. I, I think it might be the the, the, the tunnel. tunnel area yeah. that they have, like graffiti and shit. Which I think the supporters were able to write on that as well. Yeah, they, they get to write oh. customary mm. everything, which is very Saint Paul EFC. Yes. Um, which, by the way, they have an American coaching. Yeah. And they and just got promoted they got to promoted the to the Bundesliga, Bundesliga. which is wild. Because they remind me of Portland Timbers, that uh, the Pauly team, whatever. The Pauly team, yeah. Hey, Pauly <coughs> Walnuts. Hey, Pauly <laughs> Walnuts. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Tone. You hear what I said? <laughs> it's a short thing here, Tone. <laughs> Fucking Pauly Walnuts. Um, excited about the stadium, bro. Yeah, the video. The yeah. slow rollout the team is doing with these renderings, it's, yeah. it's, it's, uh, it's frustrating because you want to see everything. Yeah, you know, but yeah, every, every time they, they throw some crumbs, it's good. It's, it's, little, like, it's like a yeah, like you know, you're out there hungry and shit. Mm. And be, listen, people are excited, especially when crazy. you when you bring it up to um, <clears throat> not necessarily supporters. Mm-hmm. You know, I was I, I was on a, a field trip the other day, and we went to City Field and. Uh, Lucas was like, isn't the new stadium supposed to be around here? And a bunch of the kids were like, oh, what new stadium? What new stadium? So I explained to them where it was. So they were all in awe, like, oh, wow, 2027. I'm going to be 13 when that mm. when that opens up. Like, it's going to be cool and all that shit. So, hey, mom, you see that? Yeah. When the stadium is built, I'm going to hate you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be into other things. <laughs> I'm going to discover my Peter. <laughs> Jesus Christ. My Peter Becker. Peter Becker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Hold on. We got to drop this one. Put him in a fucking bathroom. Get no, him out of here. Hey, yo, what gonna the be fuck? In the bathroom. Yeah, man. When they're in the bathroom for longer than 10 minutes, Jeez. trust me. What is he doing? Is he taking a shower? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> what you doing in there? <laughs> <laughs> got to cut the Wi-Fi off and shit. Come on, son. Mm. Anyway. <laughs> The Wi-Fi. That's how you get. That's the that's you, how you get them out. That's bro. how you do now. You like cut the. Sure. I, I haven't gotten to that point yet. But that's, that's what I'm saying. That's in the. You know, that's in the back pocket, like, right? You know, that's one of my. Listen, I got the Wi-Fi app on the phone, bro. You heard? Mm. To cut off everybody. Shit. Yo, we need a shower. Yeah, I need yeah, to yeah. use the bathroom, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I paid it right here. Get out. Get out, bro. I need to shower, bro. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> All right, man. Uh, new stadium renderings. If you haven't seen it, they're on uh, Twitter. They're on Instagram or X, I should say. Um, Facebook. All Everywhere. that jazz. Yeah. But, yo, let's talk about this match. NYCFC played against the fucking Philadelphia Union, a team we don't like, a team that doesn't like us. In this of uh, stadiums. Rivalry, Heineken week, whatever they want to call that it. That stadium. Derby. Yeah, that stadium is trash, dog. Well, it's, the field is. Well, the whole stadium is weird. Yeah. The supporter section... It's, it's sad. small. Very sad. Right? I thought 
our supporter section will be similar in size, not design. Come on, not dog. In, in size. That's probably still like that's maybe close to two thousand people. You think? Yeah, mm. yeah. That's about two thousand people. Easy. But it's like when y'all can't even get that. Yeah. And y'all can't even feel that. And then the ones that go don't sing. That's what we're trying to avoid. That's what. That's exactly what we're trying to avoid. Yeah, that's what we're trying to avoid. Like oh. that's. I don't know. Maybe maybe we need easier songs. Uh. No, we just need more people. We just need yeah. or, or, or more more of a commitment. Or no, or new people, a fresh blood uh, rotation. You yeah. Know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. I'm not saying put the ones out to pasture. The ones yeah, we have. Yeah, no, yeah. I'm just saying like, you know, spice things up. You know what I mean? Spice it up in the bedroom. You add a yeah, third. Add a... <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, man. Yeah, I don't know. I, uh, yeah. Why is it spicy? Why is it? Spicy? That should be a drop. <laughs> that should be a drop. Listen. um... Let's bring the lineup up. All right. Here we go. Is it this one? Nope. Ready for the lineup? What are you going to do that for? Go ahead. All right. Let's go. (laughs) So in go, we have Matt Freeze. From the left to the right, our back four is Kevin O'Toole, Burke Risa, Tiago Martins, and Misha Ilinich. As our midfielders, we have Keaton Parks and Andres Pereira. Up top, we have Ojeda, Santi Rodriguez, Hannes Wolf, and starting at center forward, not our first string, not our second string, but our third string, who is now our first <laughs> string, Alonzo Martinez. Perfect. Oh, shit. Look at that. Look at that. So what a game that was, bro. Yeah. Right want, off the bat. I want to say this before we get, before we get hit, hit swing for the pitch. Uh, I want to give the bench here a little bit real quick. I want to put shout out the bench. We got Malachi Jones on the bench. Jovan Miatovic is on the bench. Good thing. Luis Barraza, Justin Hack, Andres Jason, Tavon Gray. Tales Magno on the bench. Third straight game on the bench. Munsev Bakarar, interesting. And Julian Fernandez. We have a stacked offensive bench and a not uh, stacked defensive bench. Yeah. So... This will come to play into uh, become a role in this match later on. Mm. But like you said, right off the back, right off Jump Street. Right off Jump Street. 21 Drum Street. Two minutes in? Yeah, in the second minute. In the second minute. Yeah. We got ourselves a nice, fat goal. A little, a little Alonzo <clears throat> Martinez. Alonzo Martinez with the left foot strike. Mm-hmm. Son, let's talk about that pass, though. That pass started with... Uh, uh, Perea first mm-hmm. goes towards the right side of the the pitch, running down, and then who was that? Santi that passed it over to um, to Martinez. Yes, son. The accuracy, yo, the pass, the way it was, it was like a like the, a video game. FC twenty four, just you hit that triangle button, you know, mm. <laughs> popped it right in, right in front. Have you seen the like the the, the race for the, the the defender and and Martinez? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The ball is like right in front of the defender reach, and the Martinez is like, boom. Son, it was perfect. Yeah, it was it was it was the shit you do in practice. That's the type of stuff that makes Alonzo Martinez our starting center forward mm, over Bakra. Is this his third goal of the season? Yeah, yeah, he's our starter. Yeah. I'm sorry, Jovan. Yeah, 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 sorry, yeah. Bakar. Eight y'all, million dollars. Y'all gonna fight, y'all there. gotta fight over the the sub. Yeah, who's coming who's in? Who's coming the bench, in off the bench? You know, because starting, I think Alonzo Martinez has earned his yeah. keep at that position. Mm, 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 mm. Listen though, we scored that goal. Um, something, yeah, it was, it's off the counter, which is like, uh, yes, or an, another goal off the counter. Yeah. Um, right after the goal, there was um, who was on the ground, and I remember saying the same thing I said <laughs> last game because you yelled it out like, yeah. "Yeah, park the bus." I was like, "Bro, there's like, yeah, there's yeah, like yeah, yeah. 85 minutes of park the game left. The like, bus, bro. you cannot park the bus Jose against this Mourinho, team, yo, bro." But there was a masterclass going on a bit. They, we are becoming a team that plays by the dark arts a bit. Mm. We go down. Uh, we go down. We stay down. The yellow card of Malachi Jones when he subbed in as yeah. a when he kind of, I guess flopped. You know, he definitely flopped simulation yeah. or whatever it's called. Uh, he definitely flopped. That's that's like a little personality trait this team is building right now. With um, like, you think we become a scumbags? A little. 
What's up, you scumbag? Shout out yeah. to Irv, the number one scumbag. <laughs> yeah, scumbags. <laughs> yeah, scumbags. We could be we, we're coming this like <clears throat> this team that that piss the other teams off. Yeah, and throws them off the game with yep. all of our mind tricks. And I like that. I am a fan of the dark. Let artists. me let me let me let me piggyback off this. Pause. No ditty. The second goal. It was out of anger. Mm. It was out of grit that we caused that foul. Wagner fucking, he basically tackled uh, Santi Rodriguez. Yeah, shoulder check. Sh- he just checked him. Boom. Knocked his ass on the floor. I don't, did he get a yellow off that? Yes. <clears throat> Took the yellow. Was arguing with one of our players when he got back in the box. And what did I say to you? It would be nice to score right now. would be nice if we scored right now. And then what I say? <laughs> it was Santi Rodriguez and Hannes Wolf standing yeah, yeah, over yeah, the yeah. ball. You the said, 45th, how did you 46th. word it? You said, you said something about Hannes uh, Wolf. I want Han, uh, I said I want Hannes Wolf because he has an in-swing in swing, kick because yeah. he's kicking with his yep. left. But Santi's <laughs> kicking with his right. I didn't want the outswing. I yeah. wanted the in-swing. The I, wanted in-swing the, yeah. I wanted to push into the near post, I guess you would say. Yeah. Like, like cross it into the near post. And he went straight on target. Yeah, straight on target. Hit Top the, bends. Boom. No, yeah. he hit the, he hit the, um, the pole. Yeah, like and it right. just bounced off. Boom. Boom. Came right back in. What a angle and a half. Yeah. Beautiful goal, bro. Like really acute angle. Like, that was a very <laughs> difficult shot. He, he passed his Regents exam on that one now. Mm. You know what? You want to hear a backstory about my New York City education? Oh God. My New York City Regents, my high school regents, right? Okay. Like I first off, I took it a year or two late. You know? You know. I was I was trying I was studying real hard for it. <laughs> I gave myself extra years to study for so I took it, and this is when um, only 40% of the city passed because they made the test too hard, so they just passed everybody. Oof. This is, and that's how I passed, and that's, that's how I passed the class, because the teacher told me. They just said, fuck it, everybody He said, pass the Regis, pass the class, because it was one of those classes that I didn't go to. Yeah. I never went. I literally showed up. The teacher was like, who are you? I'm like, yo, I'm in your first period class. Damn. <laughs> what I got to do is a, pass this class. He, he was, was a wild boy, son. Yeah. Pass the Regis, pass this class. And then the whole city failed the Regis. Jesus. <laughs> They said, y'all motherfuckers no, is dumb. Like when they said no child left behind. <laughs> they meant it, bro. They meant no child left behind. You know they what I mean? They meant that shit. Damn. Damn. <laughs> Fucking regents. Um, anyway, Hannes Wolf, picture perfect. Yeah, that was his first Sharp goal of the team, right? First goal What a fucking golosso. Yeah, what a golosso it was, man. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we, we I think, I think for what was happening on the pitch, like you said, we were pissing, pissing off Philly. There was a point uh, in the broadcast where you say, yo, we're pissing the fans off. And I'm like, yo, we yeah. always do that shit. Though, yeah, the we fans were turning. Yeah. The they fans got pissed. Were, every time, like, we were wasting time. Every time the ball went out of bounds. Yeah. Like, <laughs> walking slow. Walking slow. And then the, the first guy gets to the ball and then he's like, oh, nah, you're going to take it? Yeah. Okay. Boom. Crazy. He'll take it. But um, NYCFC was getting pressed like crazy. Oh, excuse me. New York City FC was getting pressed like crazy uh, by Philly. And I think, I think everybody... Um, not everybody, but the last few games, that's been the uh, the 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 opposing team's um, strategy. It's just, mm. it's just press. But for whatever reason, we are right. we playing defense. We're playing very well defensively. Yeah, we are. Because right now we're fourth, bro. Yeah, fourth in the East, six number in six in, in the, the shield. shield. It's huge. It's massive. Only eight eight points behind Miami, but they got a game in hand. Listen. They tied with Orlando, you know, tonight. So mm. those numbers is going down, baby. Those numbers going down. Hi Listen. ho, hi ho. It's up the table we go. Do 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 do. Listen, hi, ho. you hi, imagine ho, we win the shield, bro? City is back up. It's a must. We outside. Hey. Son, that would be wild. <laughs> <laughs> what did, what did they do? Tonight, the six nine gods. Um, they played. They played uh, Nashville, I think, which is weird. Because why didn't they play Montreal? Because yeah, it's rivalry. Because it's rivalry. Rival. They lost to Nashville two 0 Good, good. Fucking oh. idiots. Um, oh, should we talk about the suspensions? Wait, not yet. We got to finish okay, this okay, game. Okay. So, um, halftime comes around. <clears throat> yes. We went for a little. We went for a walk. We went for a walk. Yep. Which is why I was parched. <laughs> Still. Still. Yeah. Um. And almost immediately, I didn't even get back from the bathroom. 
And you're like, yo, I have to rewind the game. You missed something. Well, I missed it. You missed it too? Yeah. When I took my shoes off and sat down on the couch, they were celebrating. They played Montreal this weekend. Toronto does? Yeah. They're going to get their ass kicked. Um, but yeah, because we, we, we got back upstairs and it was the 47th minute. Okay. And they had already scored. So they were celebrating. It was like the end of the celebration going back to the kickoff. And I'm, I started, well, I'm like, nah, we should, I'll just bring it back. So I, I rewound it to back to the 40, uh, 45th and then... Yeah, we watched from there, and they, they listen, they came out swinging. Yeah. They got a foul almost very similar to us, um, and they, they this that was the Italian dude, no? Is he Italian? Carranza? Yeah. Julian Carranza, I think, is Argentinian. Same, with the, same with the Jack McGlynn, the pride of Middle Village Queens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With the layoff, <laughs> the little touch layoff. Yeah. Which is crazy because he kicked it back. It's, I've never really, I don't think I've ever seen that type of, play where yeah. they he goes to touch it forward you think every, every he pushed everybody right to their rights yeah and then he goes over the ball look at he puts foot over Boom. the ball and yep. rolls it back oh and i was like oh and that gave like the, the like the announcer said uh it gave him the extra couple feet to clear the wall and cut create a cut, new yeah, angle cut, yes create a new angle and it gave it gave the team and it gave the the, the fans support life, bro. Yeah, because when that doop 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 goes off in Philly, like <laughs> they it, like gets that. The, it gets the people going. Something happens to them in the head. What are they saying? They love. I don't that know, shit. but it's yeah. provocative. It's provocative. <laughs> do, 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 do. Is that a real song, or is that some Philly shit, like some uh, Philly Union shit? I don't know. I feel like Yusuf would know. Yeah, like cause he'd be like, yo. It's the alternative, oh, I like that alternative, music, gospel. alternative gospel doop 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 doop. You know, <laughs> Nardwar. <laughs> they took the Nardwar theme. <laughs> Nardwar. They, they duped the fuck out of it, but Nardwar. What'd you think of the second half, though? Nardwar ghost wrote Kendrick. Son, he might have, bro. <laughs> I heard Kendrick took a lot of lines from Twitter, though. Like his best bars were yeah. all from Twitter, yo. Nice. That shit's gangster. He got some bars in that shit, though, son. <laughs> like, he got one that said, uh... City is back up, it's a must, we outside. <laughs> son, he said, your best... Your, something something your best was a uh, was a 12-pack. Something along the lines of that. Which was like a ghost rider of his who wrote, like, God's Plan and, like, all this shit. It was a nice little subtle jab. Mm. Yeah. Kendrick's nice, bro. Subliminal. Subliminal. I read another one where it was talking about, I think he said like the number 21. It was talking about the, the cryogenics shit that fucking, that kills your fat, your stomach fat, so you could get the, the number one over here, you know? Hell yeah. I'm about to have a fit right now, yo. You okay? About to sneeze like crazy. Put him in a fucking bed. <laughs> Come on. Come <laughs> on. Perfect, bro. <laughs> that was fucking perfect, bro. <laughs> I don't know what just happened, yo. And I got, I got, I got to produce this show too. Oh my god! <laughs> what was I saying, yo? BBL, BBL Drizzy, that's right. The cryo, the cryo chamber. Because we really were talking about it. Yeah. Holy shit, yo! All right, so the game marches on. The yeah. raccoon gets on the field. Was that in the second half? That was in the. F- First half? I don't remember. First yeah, half. It, it was, was first half because they added six minutes. They added six minutes, yeah. yeah. Two goals, six minutes. Raccoon gets on this field. Yeah. They yeah. got to change the mascot, bro. You did they Take the snake for the raccoon? Take the snake for the raccoon. You got to run with it, bro. Why can't it be our mascot? That could be our mascot. Nah, but that's a bad word. You can't say that word. You got to say raccoon. You can't say, you know what I'm saying? That's, you get canceled quick, bro. You know? What you, what you trying to do? Which one? Beep. Yeah, that one. Yeah, you can't say that one. You got to say raccoons. <laughs> I would do it. You got to say raccoons. You can't just... You know what I'm saying? Because, man... Listen, you're going to get out there. You're going to get canceled, dog. Next thing you know, you're in a cryo chamber. Getting your abs done and shit. <laughs> hey, yo, what the fuck? <laughs> That fucking raccoon, man. <laughs> so Yo, you think it should be all mascot? 
No. No? But now we could call the raccoons. We could call the Union raccoons, too, now. Yeah, the Philly raccoons. The Chester raccoons. Chester raccoons. Mm. You know, me and Spidey stayed in Chester for WrestleMania. Yeah. It was far, dog. It was like 30 minutes every time. Yeah. It was whack. Yeah. Should have stayed in Philly. It, yeah, you should have. Yeah. Or or go in Camden. Camden's closer? It's on the other side of the bridge. Is it in New Jersey? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, whatever. Um, Yeah, man. They uh, So what, they scored that one. What would you think about Munsef Bakra coming in the match? I think, I think the lineup towards the end of the game got a little crazy. A um, little. Yeah, I mean, Bakra, you needed him to come in. Um, I, I really don't want to talk about him because he, he – he didn't impress me at all. He really didn't. He didn't move me. He didn't inspire mm. me the way that Malachi Jones did. Malachi Jones came in. Um, you heard his name constantly. You saw his face. The confidence in him to try to do that the spin on the bro. touchline that went he out of had, bounds. Yeah, yeah. Which was not out of bounds. Or, or, or when he held the ball uh, towards the end. No, of the when game. he did a spin move like the the joy, uh, the Cruyff turn. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Into yeah. the spin. Listen, man, he's, he's. I'm like to try that right there at this moment yeah. in the game. Like, whoa, buddy. Um, Justin had come in for Santi Rodriguez in the, in the 76th minute. Was like, whoa. Just he just went super defensive. Nick Cushion. Yeah. Everybody knows now that yeah. we're parking the bus. Yeah. Like the the one defensive. We had what two two attacking players on the uh, on the pitch at the time for a moment because then he but took, no after the, when Hat came on yeah. We had a uh, um, Bakrar and and Jones, Jones and Hannes Wolf. That's all we had. So three, yeah. We playing defense, baby. Beep beep beep. And then he takes out Hannes Wolf. Yeah. And puts in a table on Gray. I'm like, oh man, boy, oh boy. Yeah, that's it. It's over. I liked it. I said, park the bus in the third minute, bro. He should have did this in the third minute. <laughs> third minute, bro. <laughs> no, no, no. That's too much pressure. Because uh, then, listen, we we get we get caught. Listen, we're know. in fourth place right now, and mm. I feel good about who's this. Who's behind us and who's above us? Okay, so in the East, we have Miami in first with 28 points. They have a game more than everybody else because Don Garber is protecting them because Messi's going to miss a bunch of games because of Copa America. So, America. so when he comes back, Montre- uh, Miami still has points ahead of everybody. That's the actual conspiracy theory because, mm. yeah. That's fucked up. But Cincinnati in second, <clears throat> Red Bull, who beat DC in third, us, the MLS champions, mm. NYCFC are in sec- and fourth with 20 points. Charlotte, Toronto, and Columbus round up the top seven. All right. Mm. They're all 20, 19, 18 points behind us. So they're right there, right on, right on our tail. What um, do we have again? We have 20 points. 20 points. Yeah. So we're right there. I think we, we're... We might be uh, the tiebreaker with, with Charlotte might might literally be um, goal difference at this point because we got the same wins, same losses, same ties, same points per game. Hmm. So we we're on like on a fourth or fifth tiebreaker with them. Jesus, yeah. Um, but listen, we've come far, man. Like I, we were at the. Bottom I didn't of think the we table. were going to be having this conversation a few weeks ago. You know, yeah, we were. We would we were bottom of the table. I wanted to bring up Coach Joe for a second. Ooh. He he put out on Twitter today that if we beat Philly and beat Red Bull on Saturday, he will change his uh, Cushing out avatar. Oh, you have to avatar. I think the conversation could be made now about Cushing in. Like like. There's no way we could fire him this year. No, unless we not literally right go on like a seven yeah. game losing streak. Yeah, unless we yeah, unless we go on some crazy, crazy, crazy losing streak. Yeah, I don't see how this man loses his <clears throat> job at this yeah. point. So, exactly, I don't Cause, see because to be honest, let, let's speak honestly here. What else do you want him to do? We had the most wins in April. the The, the league started in March. Mm-hmm. We had the most wins in April. We're fourth right now. We're sixth yeah. in the shield. We're only a game like, or two away from the beginning of the season to, to being first or second. Yeah. Like what? I think I, I think the conversation is, is the that debate is settled so far for now. For, for right now, it's settled. Yeah. It's, like, it's settled. Come, we can't even bring it up till we go. The big thing. We can't even talk yeah. about it again. No. Until I don't, we, I don't until we go three winless in a row. Then the conversation could start being like, hey, what a, is Cushing the problem again? I don't. 
you know, like it's yeah, still, yeah, it's yeah. we're still a month away from yeah. being able to even comp- begin to think yeah. this. I think it's, that conversation has to stop right now. Yeah, um, for a while. So this Saturday is the Rebel match. Big match mm-hmm. at home, City Field. Yeah. What time's that? Seven thirty. Seven thirty. Wow. Yeah. They don't care about us. Mm. They want us to die. <laughs> You want to get into that, or you want to keep talking uh, Philly? Nah, Philly, we beat Philly. That's easy money, man. What, what's the asterisk this time? This time, there's a raccoon on the field threw you off your mentality. Yeah, come on, you guys, the elite, the, the, you guys, the fucking your mental. The, the ref stopped the game too early. Come on, like you it's know, always like, an it's, excuse. it's always it's always come, an excuse. I come, just can't be. We're the better team. Oh, the uh, Philly had the same thing when Knicks beat them too. Oh yeah, calls were going their way. The fans came. The fans came and all this shit. Y'all you know, tried like, curbing the fans this time. Y'all only gave a hundred away tickets. Yeah, like and we still showed up. We still showed up yeah. on the Wednesday, yeah. in the rain. People showed up. People showed up. Took home those three points. It's a big win, man. Let's go on to uh, last thing of uh, I want to say about cushion that pertains to this game. There's a lot of people who are talking, us included. Um, we have some big away matches. We mentioned Philly. Uh, we mentioned Toronto. <clears throat> and we came out victorious. Yeah. You know, these are two huge, huge wins. Um, and, yeah, I think I think the conversation of, of cushion out uh, needs to at least stop for right now. So yeah. even, that even whatever result we get against Rebel, unless it's like fucking. No, no, I think even yeah. if we lose against Rebel, I, the conversation is, is it would be our first loss. Yeah. Well, since the Colorado match, but it's it's. It's not a normal thing for us to lose anymore. We're winning hard fought games. Yeah. You know? We kind of look like the Knicks in a sense, like yeah. grinding Dude. out the wins. We're They're grinding. Gritty, man. We're grinding out yeah. these wins. Um Saturday is a rebel match at City Field. First and foremost, everybody, please be safe. Scoo. Oh. <laughs> mm. Grinding. I'm trying to freestyle, but I don't got nothing. I got no bars. It's late. It's late. Them late night bars. Mm-hmm. Girl, take the panties off. <laughs> <laughs> Son. Um, okay, yes. Sorry. Continue. Red Bull, be safe. Everybody, please be safe at this Red Bull match. Yes. Fuck, first and foremost, fuck the Red Bull. Second second off, fuck the Rebels again. Um, Be vigilant. Vigilant. Heads on swivels, yeah. Keep everybody. Your heads. Keep your heads Um, up. They're going to be... Um, like, I guess, I think the main issue is everybody, if you're at the marina or more importantly, if you're by the stadium pregame, I mean, the, I don't know if there's going to be a fan fest or not by the team. Yeah. I don't know. A part of me feels like the better idea is to not have a fan fest, which is sucks because then like you're denying casual fans this nice experience. Yeah. And supporters, the nice experience of the fan fest. You got the music, you got like the giveaways, you got the pictures. I wouldn't, special, I wouldn't want uh, these, these knuckleheads to come and. And start trouble. And start trouble Correct. at the at the fan fest. Mm-hmm. Oh. So everybody please be safe pre-match and post-match. More importantly, at the post-match, after the game, by the rotunda, by the apple, by the train station. It will be gladiator school, probably after the game. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it probably will be, right? Yeah, I think so. After the game. Yeah. There's usually always stuff that happens. Unless the team actually does their job and holds them in the section for a solid 30 minutes mm. after the game, after the whistle. To allow everybody to clear the area. You know? But chances of them doing their jobs, very slim. Sucks, but that's the way it is. Mm. On the field, the Red Bull are pretty decent. They're a fucking good team, yo. Yeah, they're pretty... They're decent They put it team. on DC today. Yes. Uh, 3-1. Um, Which has kind of been a sad rivalry since we've been... Since, since we won the, ch- won, won, won the ship? Nah, I think since we've... Coming to existence. DC's been whack, bro, for, oh, for the DC, years. Oh, the DC. Because that, that rival used to be a banger, I bro. saw how MLS did like a little article about it, how it's one of the f- oldest and fiercest rivals in yeah. MLS. Because they're trying to give it some spunk. Yeah, they're like, trying to give it, yeah. Some revival. Yep. But of, of it's so much of a rival, right? Why is it on a Wednesday night? If you want to revive this revival of this do rival. Do Saturday night? Do the Saturday night. And then have us on a Wednesday night? Because honestly, we're the big arrival right now. Hell yeah. We're across the street pretty much. No, it's nah, a big street. It's a big street. Yeah. It's a 12 mile street. Yeah, it's, it's a whole so. ocean in between. 
Swamps and everything, bro. Oh. So, but yeah, I mean, I guess I, I wasn't watching them then, but um, I don't know if that rivalry came naturally or if they were like, hey, I you think guys it, are. It was, it was always natural because they were from the area. There was no yeah. Philly in, back in 96. It was just New England, Rebel, and these No, dudes. but that's what I mean. Like, because, you know, at first they were like, hey, Philly's a rivalry to New York. Because Geogra- they're a hundred miles from New York City, but now it's like no, they're a rivalry because we beat them to win MLS Cup, and then they beat and us then the, they beat us the next year to go to MLS Cup final. Yeah, you know we've had playoff battles, playoff battles. There's been regular season yes, kerfuffles. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. So Philly's like, a legit rival. So, so what I'm asking is, do you, was that the case with Red Bull and DC, or was it always hey? You're two, three hundred miles no, away from I, I each other. I don't know what the, what the root is, but I know they've always hated each other. Mm. That being said, fuck DC as well. <laughs> um, <laughs> I kind of see it as more an, no, an enemy. The enemy of, of my enemy is my friend? Yeah. I guess. Kind of, you know. They the, Their fans don't like each other. Bad. Yeah. Well, yeah, there was a there was an incident that happened last, last year. Last year, the... And at, at Philly, too. At DC away, the uh, <clears throat> DC home fans, I think, threw rocks at the supporters' buses. Oh, shit. And broke the windows. Where the fuck they get rocks from? <laughs> the fuck should I know? <laughs> it's DC, from, bro. From RFK Stadium. From, the from, raccoons brought from, it. From the Capitol building. I I got, oh! <laughs> Outside. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking capital body. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Anyway, fuck Red Bull, man. Fuck DC. Uh, but on we, the field, I yeah. think this is the first game at City Field for in this derby. It is, right? We've played at Rebel <clears throat> Arena at Yankee Stadium, and we played them in uh well the, the twos played the cup match in Belson. That was a great game too. Um this is this is gonna be interesting for them as a new stadium. Maybe the juju, the good jujus they had at Yankee Stadium doesn't carry over here. Mm. You know, I hope our players, I hope the veterans on this team, the coaching staff, the kit man, like. I hope everybody's up Reminds it, the new guys that like, bro, this is the actual rivalry. Right here. Like, like, this is hatred right here. Mm. And as a fan base, I think as a fan base, we're going to do really well at this game. Supporters wise. Um. I wonder if there's a TIFO. I think there is a TIFO. Most more than likely, there's yeah, there be a has TIFO. to be a there TIFO. There has to be a TIFO. Um, it, it's going to be a great atmosphere as in the game. Like in game atmosphere in the stadium is going to be rocking. So, so they got a scary team though, bro. I'm looking at their lineup right now. Forsberg, a, uh, he's a beast. Um, I feel like Tolkien always fucks up though when he plays against us. You know. I'm looking here on the uh, <clears throat> Ticketmaster page. Yeah, the the 400 level in uh, in City Field is open. The whole 400 level. Oh shit! Where is the 400 level? It's the <clears throat> like what side of the field is that? The fourth level, one, two, three, going up. Like even where uh, where the supporter section is, it goes up to four. No, uh, that section above above the supporters is called something else. The 300s is the 300s. Mm. So I guess maybe on the upper and the side. upper deck, yeah. upper deck. All right. Yeah. So that's all open. How much? How many? Uh, how many seats does uh, City Field do? Was that forty five thousand? As a full stadium, oh. I'm not sure. I don't mm. think it's. Uh, it might be. I don't know. You want me to look it up? No, no, no. You don't have to. I was just. I figured you knew off the top of your head. Uh, what are you expecting on the pitch, though, man? Some of the same press immediately because Red Bull loved the press. I think we're going to have 41,800. Mm. I think oof, we're going to expect it's going to be a very similar game to today against Philadelphia. Yeah. Very similar in that sense. They're pressing. We're going to try to counter. We're doing, like you said earlier, we're doing a lot of countering, counter goals, counter attacking goals. So I, I think we're going to have an edge on them. I hope so. Being, small, I hope the small pitch the, the takes city an advantage. Field, the city field aspect is going to be like, is going to be new for them. Yeah. This is new for them. The field's facing the other way. Mm-hmm. This is new for them. For us, uh, it, City Field sometimes feels like a better 
a home atmosphere for yeah, the players. Yeah, because the as fans well, too, they are feel closer. more on top of you. We're closer. You know, and yeah. yo, dumb corners, son. Lethal. Great word. Yeah. Lethal. Yeah. Lethal. Um, Put him in a fucking bed. Yeah, Get him out of here. Whole Come night. on. Listen, I think, I think our supporters are going to be up for it. Yeah. Um, we're playing well. Mm. The team's going to be up for it. Mm. We already have this this grit. Mm. There was a little couple arguments and 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 I wouldn't say scuffles, but there was you know tiffs uh, in the pitch today in the Philly game. Obviously, we had one in uh, Toronto as well, mm-hmm. a big one in Toronto. Yeah, um, we're kind of getting that reputation, bro. Yeah. You know, we're speaking of that uh, hoopla in Toronto. Yeah. We only received the um, Tana Slevich received a two game suspension so far. Yeah. Besides that, nobody else from our team got suspended, right? Nope. Toronto got a whole mess of players. Yep. And supposedly, from whatever they said, uh, they're still investigating those allegations of a supposed uh, punch from... From Nick Cushion. To a player, a Toronto FC player. To a baby child. Yeah. Like Which is Sunday. wild allegations. Yeah. If true or if not <clears throat> true, it's still wild. Um. So let's see what happens with that. And Tan Slavich, yeah, we'll miss him as our... <laughs> No, no, because I think he would have came in for um, uh, um, a lineage mm. and pushed everybody over and he played the left back. Yeah. And the three in the back and have an extra defensive Then player. he starts over Gray? Or, or gets the <clears throat> sub over Gray? Who? Tanis Slavich? Yeah. No, he's suspended. No, if he was here. <sighs> I would, no, I would I rather, I'm not I would sure rather have he, Gray in. I'm not I sure because like he plays he plays uh, he plays on the left side yeah. more more so I don't think so, um, but maybe he came in for Justin Hack yeah. instead of Justin Hack today. Oh okay yeah that makes sense. No, add an extra defender in the back. Yeah, yeah I'm hoping Gray starts. He's a vet on the team. I think he's I, been there. He's done it. I think he's gonna go, we're gonna go yeah. the same lineup as today. Really, the same lineup. Wow, same lineup. This is it. Then. This is our line. Our new our new lineup going forward. Trapido head on the left. Yeah. I think so. Mm. Even though I didn't really like him that much, he wasn't really doing as impactful. Yeah, you kind of forgot about him. Yes, but it's still good. It's still good. We're still working. Yeah, and the spark off the bench, Malachi Jones, is is is, is legit. Yeah, he's a good uh, kid, man. My goal. He actually my, liked the post, the 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 little reel that you uh, that we made. Yeah. Well, most, well, you're giving him a shout out. I, I put uh, shouts to Malachi Jones, his his Instagram, and um. He liked it five hours before the game. So Ooh, on the bus ride. On the bus ride over. Probably. Yeah. Um, my score prediction. <clears throat> I would love a 2-0. That's nice. Love a 2-0. But the 2-1 seems very probable. Mm. What's that beeping? Uh somebody coming in. Oh shit. We're good. We're good. 2-0, you said? I'm gonna go two one. That's what I was thinking. And yeah. I think we come from behind and win. That would be tasty. Yeah. I think we come from behind and win. All right. Yeah. Um, I think we're getting kicked out. We are? Maybe. I don't know. He, he just gave us a thumbs up. Yeah. He's looking at us right now. I think he's like, oh, my God, this is how we do it? Yeah. This is how podcasts are made? I guess so. So I'm going to say 2-1 um, before we get kicked Security. Security. Security's here. Yeah. Um, yeah. Be right. safe. Be vigilant. Yeah. Stay on your toes. I think there's gonna be tailgates, maybe. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I don't see why there wouldn't be. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I think it's gonna be a good time. I'm excited to hear all the stories. Um, let's record Sunday. Sunday, yes. Right after the next game, or right before the next game. What time the next play? Let me. I don't know. Give me one second. Oh. oh. What, what? What just happened? It's time to go. Kick this out. Kicking us out. They literally turned the lights off. They literally turned the lights off. All right, y'all. This is NYC. No, the, game, the next game is on Friday. We're, we're, we're ending in game six. Nixon, Nixon six. Nixon six. Let's get it. All right. All right, y'all. NYCFC Forever Podcast. We'll see you guys next week. Peace. Peace.